All right, so we are missing a couple of things here, and we're going to fin finish it up on this lecture. So we want to display the categories dynamically from our database. We also want to uh, have this image here, and we want to fix this. So let's go ahead and start doing that quickly. So let's go ahead and fix this, and this is just very simple fix. Just put it in the beginning of that, and maybe you already did that. So the image is another quickly very quick fits we just put an image there the source is gonna be in the images in the root directory and of course there's no eyes it's just two dots there we're gonna do a PHP tag here let's make sure that we do it correctly though we don't want to make mistakes there post image as you can see here all I did was the same thing that I did with all other elements all right, I just put the path here and the name of the image. And let's do a width because if not, this image is huge. So we don't want it to be that big. All right, so let's check on that. Refresh. We got the image and we fixed this. Perfect. Looking great. All right, so the categories. Let's go ahead and work on that. We don't need this input here, actually. Let's take it out and let's work on a select element there HTML and this put it like this and on this select I'm just gonna put a couple options but I'm gonna do this options dynamically so I'm going to do a query for the categories what we want to do is we want to display all the categories from the database right here on this select all right right now the select doesn't have anything so if I refresh you see it's empty right here we want it we want to display some stuff from the database all right I already have a category selected somewhere in the update section actually right here so I'm just gonna copy this update categories remember that in the includes files in the admin so I'm just gonna select that go to edit again paste that in here all right actually we're gonna select uh, change a couple things here select categories we took the ID out of there the keyword paste it right here and we have this entire query for us there's one thing that I want to change and that I probably did not tell you about and is that we have a function here with a misspelled name and let's go to functions and here this function if you probably you did name it correctly but I didn't I put an M here and it's supposed to be an N because so confirm this is how you spell confirm C O N and I misspelled it there I might do that once in a while but it really doesn't matter as long as the functionality is good but I want my code to be a little cleaner so I corrected that and I also went and corrected it in the add post right here right well we use that function because right now I'm telling you this because we are going to be using it right now so make sure that you correct it too if you want it you don't have to correct it but I want to because I'm going to use it again All right, so I'm gonna use it right here this function just to confirm that this query will be good you see that but it's gonna be query right there and we're gonna use this result that's what it's called result set and we're gonna use that query to confirm it that function all right so here what I want to echo is an option element a HTML option and I'm just gonna go here and make one because I got Emma to help me out with that and that's the plugin I use with this editor remember that let's make these single quotes here and this double quotes to enclose that in the echo perfect all right so we have that what do we want to echo here in between this we want to echo the cat title right here that's what we want to echo you can leave it like that or you can just put the brackets if you want around it and I think it should work fine right now if I'm not forgetting anything let's check it out all right function is now working and that's the function I believe let's go to functions confirm just make sure that function is con 
confirm. Make sure that's the same name. It has to be the function. Let's compare it real quick. It is the same name. It might not be the function. So edit post. Let's take the function out just to check it out. Real quick and check it out. Refresh. It is a function. All right. And the reason why he's giving me that is because we haven't saved it here. Save. Refresh. Still giving me a problem. I'm misspelling something. I'm, doing, I'm not doing something right here. That function should work. Um, actually, we are doing this the wrong way. There we go. We're not supposed to be having that where SQL statement there. Refresh. Perfect. See that? So now we have all the categories here. Great. All right. So we're displaying all the categories we got right here. And if we add another one, for example, example category, category, right there, we go back to view post and then edit. We can see that example category popping in here. All right. Perfect. Great. So I see you in the next lecture where we, we will uh, update the form. When we submit it, we're going to create that query to update the form and it's going to be great. Thank you so much and I'll see you then.